Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obert Data, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Creo Gold Simulator, which is actually free to play right now. Early access, city builder slash management, I guess, god game. I mean, it literally is a god game. Anyway, uh, let's jump into things, and as ever, I will do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. And I'm just gonna get uh, gonna get set up here, and we are gonna be ready to go. Brilliant. Okay, I, I'm 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 gonna up the tree density. Uh, frankly, because trees are such an important part in this game, at least from what I have uh, discovered, I will do my very best, uh, as I say, to explain what the heck's going on. Right. So let's chat about what's what's happening here. Um. So we've got willpower up in the top left hand corner. The number of villagers. The breakdown of the villagers. Uh, available workers and followers up in the top left hand corner here. Uh, then down at the bottom, we've got gold, food, wood, stone, and metal. Um, all of those are resources. We've got our god powers up here, the ability to place trees, place stone, uh, rain, meteor, and also smite. And then we've got our construction menu down the left here. We got a nice little tech tree in here, which I can't show you at the moment because we haven't placed our summon altar. Uh, but I will. I will. Let's place that. Let's place that very carefully. The reason that I uh, the reason that I increased the tree density is because having a large number of trees is basically essential. This has got to be the place over here. This has got to be the place over here. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, um, it will become very very apparent pretty darned quickly why that is the case. Um, but we'll we'll jump into things. Okay, it's maybe a little bit little bit out in the, the middle of nowhere but that's fine right so we're gonna summon this altar and then we're gonna start building we're gonna start building our little city this is the central nexus for all power uh, all godly power is emitted from this building if it's destroyed you'll have no power and uh, you'll be destroyed immediately literally you will lose the game like that if uh, if you go anyway uh, let's get the sort of foundation of a village up and running we're gonna get this 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 and this it's gonna cost us what like a little a little wood a little stone a little a little metal and, uh, and a little wood. That's fine. I mean, all, all of that is A-OK. -okay. Uh, we can get some farms. Uh, we can get a ranch. We can get a lumber yard. We're actually going to get a lumber yard. And um, the reason, by the way, that I increased the tree density uh, is because it is absolutely critical to get a whole bunch of wood. And um, I have played this game through a couple of times. And uh, playing it without any wood is, is basically just no fun. Uh, you basically just get an increase in the amount of wood per second based on the tree density. So it's very, very important to make sure that you've got some uh, some dense, treely, treely populated areas. Yeah, we're actually going to get two lumber yards pretty much immediately. That's how, that's how mission critical it sort of is. Uh, we should have some villagers arriving very, very shortly indeed, which are going to hopefully going to allow us to explore some some more buildings and some more advanced sort of techniques. Uh, but we'll we'll wait before before we're, before letting that happen. Uh, I also should pre warn you that it is very, very irritating the uh, the sort of <laughs> the sort of village arrival uh, note that you get. It is it is a bit it is a bit irritating, <laughs> but it's also quite funny. Uh, we should we should see that happening imminently. Anyway, we've got plenty of food. We don't have any sort of food growing facilities yet. We'll get there. Uh, we've got a little coal source over here. We've got a little stone source over here. Uh, we do have like an area of influence that we can that we can sort of build in. I think this area of influence is the best, uh, all things considered. Uh, we need to get ourselves a shop, and I'm going to get a shop probably over here. The shop is actually kind of interesting. Because of the way... There we go. One traveler's joined your town. Twitch notification sound. Uh, the shop is actually kind of interesting because of the fact that it now allows us to trade. And not only can we trade with the shop, but the villagers can trade with the shop. So these these sort of numbers uh, will vary because the villagers will buy and sell their own resources at the shop. Which I think is really very, very cool indeed. Uh, but if we need more wood, for example, then we can actually, you know, buy... We can buy wood, but we can only buy wood as long as it actually exists within the shop. We can also sell up to a certain threshold. Uh, so it's actually quite a quite a cool little concept. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very, very, very nice indeed. Anyway, um, we have an objective, and the objective is to build a great city. Um, we need to get a city with 300 inhabitants, population of 300. That is going to be quite challenging, not going to lie. Um, we've got a population of, or up to a population of 20 at the moment. Uh, we also occasionally need to demonstrate to our followers, boom, uh, that we exist as a god, and so we can click on people with little little prayer icons above their head, 
and uh, and that will make them that will make them realize that we are here. Uh, ideally, the more followers we get, the better the better we all are. Now, um, we've got 2,500 willpower that I sort of alluded to at the start of the game. Uh, there's a couple of different techs that we can unlock. There's obviously a tech tree here. I think we're probably going to go for the economic upgrade, which is going to allow us to build the market, which is a much greater trade capacity and generate more gold. We can also get the windmill, which increases the speed that nearby crops grow. Uh, stone mining, stone quarry, which is used to start gathering stone, or the well, which are used to put out fires in the city. Yeah, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the economic stuff. Oh, answer your prayer as well. That gets us a few, a few points. One swarm of locusts is heading towards your farm. Uh, well, joke's on you, video game, because, uh, we don't have any farms yet. Uh, we don't have any farms yet. Yeah, we absolutely have no farms, and we need to get that rectified. I think we're probably gonna nab ourselves a little ranch here. Beautiful. And we'll get three workers assigned over there. Do I actually have enough workers? Uh, we've got nine children at the moment. We can probably take our foot off the gas in terms of, um, yeah, in terms of, uh, in terms of gathering wood. And you know what? We'll also get ourselves a little farm here. Get some people assigned over there too. Oh, somebody just, dis oh, there we go. Nab you. And... Is there somebody else? Somebody else sort of disappeared around here. Either way, we've got 16 followers. It's not bad. There we go. Beautiful. Make sure that we're answering these prayers whenever they're whenever they're sort of appearing. And we'll max that out at five there. Yeah, but pretty much we just need to increase our need to increase our population at the moment. It does cost a fair amount of wood to do that. And also we are consuming a rather tremendous amount of food. Can't build anything in a religious or the city services menu. Uh, we can build the market, but I don't have access to that quite yet because we just don't have enough wood. I just used it. Um, let's try and buy some food. Or let's try and maybe farm some more food if we can. We need more travelers, really. I feel like we, we're in a little bit of a catch-22 here. We need more... Three travelers have joined your town. Excellent. Uh, we need more we need more food in order to attract more people. We need more people in order to get more food. You know? Let's cut down the number of workers that we have working in the in these areas. And let's hope that that's enough. Can we get your can we get your points here? It's very challenging to click on yeah, to click on people over there. Also, I think we'll do a little bit of a rain cloud here. We'll do a rain cloud, um, because that is not only going to demonstrate to people that I exist as a god, uh, but it's also going to make the food grow a little bit faster, which is going to be great, and that's going to that's gonna truly... Well, look at that. I mean, it increased our, our amount of food by, like, 200. That was tremendous. There we go. Do we have any available workers? No, we do not. But i got to be honest, I am not too disappointed with how that turned out. Um, it still shows a consumption statistic, as opposed to... Um, there we go. Uh, as opposed to uh, an income statistic, but that is not necessarily a problem. Okay, um, so let's see if we can try, once we have uh, a few more people, we'll see if we can try and maybe get ourselves a few more people working in the lumber department. Yeah, it's going to be challenging to click on to click on these people in the fields. Oh! I did it. I did it. Excellent. Uh, one traveler's joined your town. Marvelous. I presume these people are just going to... Yeah, they're continuing to work in the fields because we've got um, open jobs, but only four total workers here. That's fine. We've got a capacity of up to um, of up to 40, which is grand. We've got plenty of willpower. Um, there are a few other buildings that I... Ooh, nice. All of your crops are experiencing a growth rate for three seasons. A growth rate boost for three seasons. Marvelous. Right, how are we doing? We're not doing too badly. Um, we can increase, or we can get, I should I say, uh, roads. I don't think roads actually make a difference. Uh, other than, other than aesthetic. God, it's difficult to click on those peeps when they're in the fields. That's fine, though. The small altar will allow us to expand our horizons a little bit, so we're probably going to do that. The small willpower well is going to be essential for getting some of these more advanced techs. Uh, which cost more than 2,000 willpower. There we go. You are impossible to click on. You are much easier to click on. People out with the farms? 
tend to be very, very easy to click on. But everyone else seems to be a massive pain in the backside to do. Either way, we got 23 followers. I mean, we're generating a lot of willpower here, actually. It's very, very nice to see. We got any available workers yet? No, but we have managed to fill up the... Oh, my goodness. Just impossible. Oh, well, I say it's impossible, and then I do it. Uh, yeah, we have managed to... Oh, look, we've got one available worker. Let's crank... Crank more people into this lumberyard. Yeah. Um, believe it or not, it would be pretty... It would be pretty grim if we were having to deal with more sparsely populated trees. Or more sparsely... Sparsely populated? Can trees be populated? I don't know. Um, doesn't particularly matter. But anyway, we're doing well for food. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see if we can try and build a market. You know what? I want to build a market. I'm very, very curious to see how this works. 1,700 gold. We have nowhere near that. So let's see if we can start raising some money on the stock exchange. I mean, at the market. Uh, let's see if we can try and sell, like, a whole bunch of stone. We can obviously only sell it up to a certain point. Um, I can sell a little bit of wood. I need to get 7,500. That's the, the sort of... That's the point. Yeah, I mean, we got it. What do we need? Uh, 20, oh, we need 25 iron. I literally just sold. I literally just sold iron. That's unfortunate. There we go. Uh, we are making money, but it is a slow process. Sell food? Nice. Okay. Um, this is marvelous. That's a huge building. Oh my god. Good golly god. Earthquake. Buildings have damaged. Oh my lordy. Is that gonna do it? Rain? Right. The... Okay. I mean, I don't care about anything else. Just give me this. Put out the put out the fire here. Okay, that's fine. Right. I mean, the small farm can the small farm can die a death. That's that's not necessarily a problem. Um, but yeah, we need to we need to get our other infrastructure sort of set up and ready to respond to uh, to threats like that in the future, because that's gonna that's gonna set us back. You know, that's not gonna that's gonna set us back. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, we have no we have no water. We need to get the wells. Yeah, we need to get the wells. That's gonna cost me two thousand willpower. We're getting 50 willpower a season at the moment. Basically, a season, is a season is a month, as I understand it. Let's get some people assigned here. 170 units of market storage are now available. That's kind of great. Uh, yeah, in fact, that's hugely good. That's really, really good. And now we probably just need to crank up our, our number of workers. We really do. 26 believers. Almost everyone is a believer, though. So that is nice. Um, I guess I'll get another rain cloud. I presume this is going to be on fire forever, but apparently people are able to farm it. Whoa. You know what? Just, just, just rain. Make it rain. That's fine. There we go. Finally. Okay, so we got the market. That's wonderful. We'll get ourselves another small farm. We can just about build one. Oh, we need to get... We need to get a little bit of cash. There we go. Yeah, we need to get a little bit of cash. We also need to get... Ooh, we got loads of workers. 5.3 gold per second now. That's good. Um, is that enough to... There we go. How are we doing? 3,750 HP. Yeah, that's not exactly ideal. If we lose this, we die. So I'd rather not lose that. Uh, but we got a decent amount of... We got a decent amount of belief going. That's for sure. Pretty, pretty happy with all things considered. I like the market. That is going to make a tremendous difference. That really is. We don't have any available people, though. So we're going to need to get... Going to need to get more houses. The unfortunate reality is that we just don't have enough wood. But that's okay. So I think the order of operations is as follows. More houses. More people. It's more efficient to equip them to this lumber yard. Uh, yeah, more people working here. Uh, six gold per second. I mean, do we need a lot of gold per second? It's not exactly bad that we have that much gold per second, but we can probably crank it down just a little bit. Because I think we actually value, uh, we actually value wood more at this present moment. There we go. Anybody else willing to give me a little bit of... 
a little bit of prayer answering beautiful love to see it excellent happy days more travelers excellent boom boom we are on a roll um we seem to be losing oh my god we are losing we got a fire we got a fire in the we got a fire in the plaza right let's get that let's get that stopped right we need to get wells pretty much as soon as possible because i can't keep i literally cannot keep spending a thousand a thousand points on this every every season yeah maybe wells should have been the first order of operations but then again i mean who really is that bothered okay we're gonna try and buy some food because i'm apparently running out of food and sell a little bit of stone right people are gonna start to starve in a second there we go max that out reduce the amount of people that we have working there marvelous okay um food yeah we're in a we're in a bit of a bit of a poor bit of a poor position with regards to food people are gonna be unhappy no doubt about it but I think yeah I think with that second field we should manage to get on top of things yeah that's nice okay as long as we've got a thousand sort of points banked just in case of you know an emergency then we'll be fine can I get you stupid right people working in buildings is it's challenging to get uh, it's challenging to get them to challenging to click on them right okay can we sell stuff not really uh wood we can maybe sell stone we don't have any way to generate at the moment and iron we have to buy through the ah you just disappeared come on really i'm literally clicking right on you I wonder if it's maybe something to do with my screen resolution. I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, 27 followers. That ain't bad. We still have f uh, five more space for a few more people. That is awfully good. Pretty happy with uh, pretty happy with that. What else have we got going on? Right. Uh, economics wise, yeah, we could get another could get another thing. I really. Angry cats are heading towards my town. They're going to eat my food. I don't see any angry cats coming. Well, again, we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out for them. Yeah, I don't see any angry cats at all. Oh, no, here they are. Here they are. Uh, we're going to smite the angry cats. Don't worry. This is, this is something that I... I'm well trained in smiting cats. Right. Beautiful. And then that actually gives us a pile of gold for some obscene reason that I... There we go. Can click on and uh, we can get sorted. Beautiful. Um, do I need... Do I need something? I would love a windmill. I really would love a windmill. There we go. Can't click on you. Can't click on you. You just disappeared. There we go. Okay. 2,000. 2,000 woods. 2,000 wood. 2,000 wonder points or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, let's do that. Let's get across the line. Come on. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I'm desperate here. 2,000 willpower. How much are we getting per season? 73 per season. I want to hit 100. That's that's an ambition. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that to increase, why don't we see if we can try and yoink another... Try and yoink one of these houses down. In fact, we can yoink a lot of houses down. In fact, as long as we keep up the... As long as we keep up our amount of iron through the market, we can pretty much perpetually place houses... Nice. Answer your prayer. Beautiful. Uh, what do we need in actually... In actually, what do we already, What do we need in order to build the the well? Small well. Uh, we're going to have to build it without the ability to protect the central altar from fire. Which is a bit scary. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll do the... We'll do what we need to do. We'll get the... We'll get the well. It's not that well. That's the willpower well. That allows me to increase my total amount of will, uh, willpower. Small well is, thankfully, remarkably easy to build. Beautiful. Right in the center there. Uh, we'll equip two people to it. Uh, very useful if you don't want your cities cooked to a crisp. Yeah, um, you could say that. You could say that. I don't want my cities to look, uh, to look cooked, actually. Can I nab you? 
I can indeed. Beautiful. Okay, what are we at? 71. That is cracking. We've got the ability to deal with up to 60 people now. We've got eight workers spare. Let's get everyone back to work at the lumber yard. And everyone else back to work at the market. That's pretty good. I think we're kind of generating everything, with the exception of food, in quantities that I'm quite comfortable with. Um, the ranch, I don't think the ranch is honestly that great. 0 0.8 food per second. I think it's better... I think this is better. Yeah. I think it's better. Right, keep, keep doing the miracle thing. Keep doing the miracle thing. That's great. Do I need two people to be working at the well? Truthfully, I'm not actually sure that I do. Do I want to change it? No, I do not. No, I do not at all. Okay, so if we have a little look in the inspiration menu, the stone mining is an operation that we can we can think about. Repair shops, that would be good. Windmill, wind power, I'm not sure that I really care about that, to be honest. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to get, and it only costs 2,000. Uh, so that might be worth it you know, straight up from, from that perspective. Man, I tell you what, honestly, answering some of these prayers, it's, it's easy to do. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Only one building, only one building was, you better be, you better be taking your, oh, we, we did it. Okay, I don't know, I didn't see anybody, I don't, I didn't see anyone report for duty there, but, but that's good, that's good. I'm glad that that happened. I'm glad that that happened. Right, um, with willpower, with willpower coming up, uh, the willpower threshold coming up, should we maybe yoink some more? Um, I think maybe we should. Also, can we decrease that? Decrease again. Yeah, we've got plenty of cash right now, but we just need we just need more food. Right, let's go for the go for the windmill. Let's see what see what that gives us. 800 cash, 1,000 wood. I mean, absolutely winner, winner, chicken dinner, I think, is the phrase that I would probably use. Get that in there and yoink that up. Yoink that down. That's looking good. Four travelers have joined your town. As long as we're able to maintain, as long as we're able to maintain this, then we're in, we're in a good place. Uh, another small farm. That's nice. Yoink that up as well. So we at least know that the next couple of jobs that we have will be... What the heck are you doing? Answer the prayers. Answer your prayer anyway. Somebody else over here that was looking for a prayer to be answered. You're looking for a prayer to be answered. Two people here. Well, we got one there. That's nice at least. You're looking for your prayer to be answered. Okay, this is good. I think that's... Uh, the windmill's not quite within range okay that's that's fine though that's not a problem right already we're back up to like a thousand a thousand belief points or whatever god unbelievable uh yeah we're up to a thousand belief points what do i need i literally just need more population i literally just need more population at the moment uh there is also the small issue of the willpower well which I probably should get. Uh, we're in a very, very good place. Very, very comfortable place for food now, actually. Seems like seems like that has made all the difference. The, uh, the windmill. Yeah. We still have more people needed in order to make the farm work. Um, which is grand. Which is very, very good, in fact. Uh... That's more people joining. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, any more people requiring any any prayers answered, belief points? I will, I will divvy them out. I'll dish them out. You can have them. Right. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Let's do one of these. What do we need? We need more cash for this. We need more cash for this. That would be brilliant. That would be brilliant if we could get more cash. What do I need in order to get more cash? Probably just more people working in the... Working in the market. You. There we go. Man, this is going well. This is going great. Okay. Let's get the... Get the stone mining operation up and running. 
brilliant. Have we got any available workers yet? No. We do have a lot of farmers, which is great. You need to be sorted. There we go. Marvelous. Okay, literally just the well, the will, the well power, the well power will. The well power will is what we need. We will sell off some wood. Here we go. And we will build the... What do we need? Uh, wh we need iron and stone. Uh, I did actually just get the stone mine. I don't know why we don't get the stone mine instead. 200 stone. Oh, 15. We need 15... There we go. 15 wood. Right, so the stone mine, I mean, it's not going to be a terribly effective mine, is it? No. Now, we can obviously demolish stuff at a later date if we need to. To be honest, I think we're probably more... more suited. Our economy is probably sort of more suited to actually just buying... just buying stone as and when it becomes available. Yeah, sell as much food as we possibly can and crank down the number of workers that we have working in the fields. Especially now that we've got the windmill. I mean, it just doesn't seem necessary to have as many people involved in. Uh, can't get you. No. Yeah, it doesn't seem as necessary to have as many people involved in food production. Also, I mean, this ranch, I mean, 0 0.8 food per second. That seems like a lot, but I'm actually not convinced it is at all. Crank it down to 0 0.5. We'll leave we'll leave one person free. Uh, 0 0.4 stone per second. That is such a grottily miserable amount of stone. I mean, that is truly a depressingly small amount of stone. This is the issue that I was kind of worried about with trees at the start. You see? It's like you have... You have the source, but it's just one source. I mean, there's literally... That's literally it. 0 0.4 stone per second. That is literally it. Uh, we need to get ourselves a well, a willpower well. What do we need? We need cash, we need stone. I mean, we need literally everything. All right, crank up the number of workers here. I really... I really don't know. I mean, we need to get... We need to get more workers for sure. Inspiration-wise, everything costs 4,000, so we're not going to get any of this. I would love the ability to get temples... That would be good. Uh, metal mining, that's probably useful. Kitchens consume wood and produce food. Kitchens consume wood twice as fast as they produce food. I don't really care about that. And we got plenty of food. More travelers is nice. I think, to be honest, we need to lean into being uh, an economic powerhouse rather than anything else. Yeah. We'll buy woods. We'll buy iron as well. Yeah, I think that's probably I think that's probably for the best. The problem is, is that stone is such a rare commodity. I mean, it really, really is. Small altar requires 1,200 of the darn stuff. I mean, that is that is crazy, crazy, crazy money. Um, we can do a place stone, which I guess we kind of probably should, right? Zero point eight stone per second. I mean, that's it's not exactly it's not exactly walking on water, but it, I mean, it is it is pretty cool, I suppose, that we're able to place a stone source. Sixty nine, nice willpower per season. Love to see it. Very very happy with that. Still a plentiful amount of food coming through. Can't sell any more of that. Can sell more wood. Brilliant. Uh, Iron. I will actually keep on buying iron. There's pretty much no reason not to at this point. We got a lovely stable little community. I'll, I'll say that much. All your crops are experiencing a growth boost. Well, that's great. I really have no idea what our max food supply is or max food storage is, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there very, very soon indeed. Uh, right, 0 0.8 stone per second. I mean, really, do we need to get more stone? I think we do need to get more stone. I don't think there's any other way around it, to be honest. Uh, let's cut back on the number of people that are working here. Cut back on the number of people that are working there. Actually, we can increase that again. We now have one free worker. Get willpower from you, willpower from you. And to be honest, I mean, I know it's a bit, it's a bit ballsy that we are... It's a bit ballsy that we're sort of flying low with a small amount of willpower. But we have got 
45 followers. I mean, that's not bad at all. We're kind of creeping towards our population cap, which is really, really nice because it means that for the first time in a long time, we've got available workers. Uh, but we're going to keep on, we're going to keep on pushing that as much as we possibly can. More stone around this stone source, I think, or the stone quarry, should I say, is, is kind of the objective. We're up to 500. I mean, pretty soon things are going to get crazy, right? Pretty soon, things are going to get crazy. 1.4 stone per second. It's not bad. And what are we at? Can we get maybe... We can get more houses. But if I get more houses, that's going to delay my... It's going to delay my small willpower well construction. Is that a problem? It's not a problem per se, but it is a bit of an issue. I think we're probably better served with another stone quarry. To be honest with you. Yeah, let's actually yoink down another stone quarry. Because we've already started to get a few extra workers that I've not really accounted for. Uh, and besides, I could... I think I actually maybe just trash this ranch, to be honest. Yeah, trash the ranch. I don't really care about it. I think I care genuinely more about getting stone than I do about anything else at this moment in time. So if we get... Yeah, if we get stone here, I mean, that's just gonna... I mean, that's gonna make my stone situation explode. We've got some really, really effective lumber yards. We've got some really, really, really effective um, effective stone quarries now as well. So that's looking pretty good on, on both fronts there. There we go. Willpower generation is not bad. It could be better, but it, it is not bad. It is not bad at all. Right, we are completely ready with the exception of... Perhaps a little bit of extra stone, which I'm going to try and buy, but I can't because it's still in high demand. Um, we are completely ready. We're completely ready to get this willpower well. It's either the willpower well or perhaps we think about yoinking some more some more houses down. We can stick them in this area now that we've got rid of the, the other stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Another stone source is going to be coming online very soon. Let's get the, let's get the willpower well. We'll get the willpower well. We'll get it like up here. Sure, excellent. Now we're up to 3,500. And now I think it's probably just... Probably just houses, right? Is it cash that we need? I think it's cash that we need. 275, yeah. Oh, and 75 stone as well. Oh, yes, I forgot that we did have... We did have rather a large amount of stone stone, or we did have a large, rather a large amount of, uh, of stone expended in building that well up there. That well, by the way, um, that's probably gonna need to be protected by a... Probably gonna need to be protected by another well. A regular well. Well, well, well. I wanna, I wanna get the temple. I think we need to get the temple next, right? Enables the creation of small temples. Hopefully converting them. Yeah, absolutely. Right, 4,000. We need 4,000, which means that we need yet another well. Feel like that's the wrong type of well. What do we need? 800 stone. We'll get there quite shortly. In fact, um, I'm gonna get another stone source. Sort of tuck it in here if we can. Beautiful. 2.1, 2.1. I mean, 2.1 stone per second. I mean, that is a that is a crazy amount. That is a crazy amount. The willpower situation is less than enamoring. Only 40 followers. I gotta be honest. I don't love it. I don't think that placing stone and placing trees makes as much of an impact as, you know, smiting a bunch of cats. I think if you smite cats, people tend to... People tend to think that... People tend to think that you're alright, you know? What's our willpower per season? 105 per season. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It could be better, though. It could be way better. It could be better. Right. Let's have a look. Small altar, expanding influence. No, don't think that's necessary. Swarm of locusts is heading to your farms. That's fine. We'll smite them. We're ready to smite. Ready to smite at a moment's notice. Let's keep... Let's keep progressing. We've got three workers free, by the way. Do I need workers for anything? A small willpower well. I'm going to get another small willpower well. Beautiful. Where's this locust? Where's this locust storm? That's not it, I don't think. I think that's just cloudy weather. Yeah, well, these locusts are... Oh, I was going to say they're greatly they're greatly overstated. I'm going to wait until they're in situ before smiting them. I think that seems like a, a sensible thing to do. 
If they eat my crops, I mean, I'm not particularly bothered about it. Okay, smiting didn't do the trick. Um, do I just want to let them eat the crops? It, it might be rain to wash the locusts away. What about rain? It's not rain? It is rain. It is rain. Brilliant. And we get some gold from that. Um, the unfortunate situation behind behind those locust showers there, um, those locust storms and, and whatnot, is that that did kind of cost us a decent chunk of uh, willpower points, which I'm not exactly... I'm not exactly sure we can afford to afford to give up at this at this moment in time. There we go. Another another happy customer. Another happy customer. Another happy customer. Another happy customer. Okay, I mean we are up to 1500, 105 a season. I should point out by the way, is very very good. A decent amount of stone, decent amount of gold, a huge amount of food, huge amount of wood. Metal is obviously a problem. There we go. There we go. But all in all, I mean, this is going very, very nicely. Very, very nicely, in fact. In its entirety. What do we need? We need 400... 400 flipping points in order to get... Or sorry, 4,000 points in order to get the... Uh, to get the next level. What do we what do we need? What do our people need? Whilst we are sort of here. Um, there is this sort of whole well situation. That well covers that area. Maybe a well up here would be good. It's not exactly terrible, but it's not exactly great. Do we need any more cash? No. Uh, I could spend some of my hard-earned money to buy a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of iron, which, frankly, we don't really have any need for. Or, well, we don't have any need for it at the moment. Uh, but we will have a need for it. Uh, there's just another swarm of locusts coming, apparently. Oh, no, that's the that's the last one. That's the last swarm of locusts. I don't know. Some of these houses are on a little... Quite a small amount of HP. That's not exactly ideal, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's get you sorted. It would be, it would be good to get a repair shop. But frankly, you know, converting more people, converting more people to follow my, uh, my religion, which I named at the start apparently, but there's no sign of it anywhere around. Inspection mode. Don't think that's, don't think that matters at all. I mean, literally, just give me the opportunity, video game, to, to get four thousand. We'll get it at the end of the next season, which is good. We're going to inspiration mode. Metal mining? No. Oh, no. There's cats coming. There's cats. They're going to eat my food. Okay, you know what? We'll get the temple. Get me the temple. Small temple. Just a small temple. Stick it in the center there. And get two people working there. One willpower per second? Uh, that seems like a very, very small number. A disappointingly small number, if I'm honest. But I presume that that's not the, the major selling point. The major selling point is that, theoretically, the number of followers that we have should go up. Yeah. Here come the cats. Uh, we will be able to smite very, very shortly indeed. I think they will come to the... Yeah, to the houses. Okay, great. I The smite missed. Right, well, my food is going to drop like a, like a ton of bricks now. Which is pretty unfortunate. However, oh my goodness, my followers are just they're just disappearing. Apparently, they don't think that the 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 swarm of cats is biblical enough. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait until we get more more smite points, and hope that we hope that we hit them this time. There we go. Okay, that's enough, right? Are you kidding me again? Um. Well, they're making a very irritating noise. They literally go to every single house. Well, to be fair, my followers have gone back up, so that's I suppose a okay. Can I get another? Can I get another small temple? What do I need? Two thousand gold. Uh, we'll have that kind of soon, any uh, anyway. Sell some food. Maybe not a great thing to be doing at a time like this, but honestly, not a problem. Right, more willpower. That's great. Uh, what's next on the sort of tech tree? I'm just going to ignore the cats and hope that they go away. Or maybe send some water to 
deal with them. Cats don't like water, right? Right. Um, unlocks the large temple. Raise willpower among the people. I mean, repair building would be kind of nice. 10,000 10, willpower seems like a lot. Right. Cats go away. Thank goodness. There we go. We did it. Cost me... I mean, a tremendous amount of willpower. Literally a tremendous amount of willpower. More than I even anticipated. But that's fine, I suppose. Right, what's our what's our willpower per season? It's not bad. Um, can I get some more houses? I mean, I feel like the houses are not... What do we need? What do we need? 270. Really? We, we don't have enough money? Is that really the problem? We are generating, like, as close to as much money as we possibly can from the, the market. The repair shop, no. Yeah, I'm looking for the market. What do we need? 100, 175, uh, 1,700. Sell food. Sell everything, dude. Sell literally everything. Apart from the iron. Yeah, we've got plenty of that. Uh, yeah, let's get another market. Oh, there was a spot there. I think. Sure. You know, it's it's hanging it's hanging off the edge of the hanging off the edge of the the, the land, but that's gonna double our double our income there. Two priests, two extra willpower per per second. But have we managed to increase the number of followers that we have? Not terribly. Not terribly. Right. That's looking pretty good. I mean, we just literally need more people. We literally need more people. Right. Answer some prayers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 4,500 was our cap. 10,000. I mean, 10,000 seems like a bit of an impossibility if I'm strictly, if I'm strictly truthful here. Uh, we can get a repair shop. That would be A-OK. -okay. Uh, but it doesn't really seem like that's going to make... A huge amount of difference. I don't think there's any other tech buildings either. Like I don't think there's I don't think this is hidden. Technology coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I hope so. Uh true discipline ship. Yeah, we'll we'll try and get that, but I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. Three hundred population. I mean, if we had a little bit more immigration, that would be quite handy. We're up to seventy, that's pretty decent. We have pretty much we have pretty much everything that we need in a large enough quantity, with the exception of with the exception of willpower. What do we need? Oh, we need money and we need iron bars. There we go. Get this all sold. Sell all of our food. Beautiful, and we can get another temple. Marvelous. Two people working there. Brilliant. Let's increase the number of people that we have working in the fields. No reason not to, I suppose. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to make a tremendous difference. But it's not bad. Five travelers joining the town is brilliant. It'd be nice if we had a way to, like, lure travelers in. Lure is a very strong word. Doing a lot of... A lot of strange, a lot of strange context in that sentence, uh, but you get the picture, right? If we were able to get a few more, we were able to get a few more bits and bobs, that'd be a few more people. That'd be that'd be fun, right? Um, I'm gonna make some roads, even though I'm pretty sure they're just aesthetic. Um, the altar, I mean, it's entirely useless. I feel like we've managed to to get a fire's begun somewhere on the map. That's within range. You know what? That's perfect. That's within range of my small well. I've got the two well people working on it. That's grand. It's difficult to keep track of everybody's everybody's wishes now. Oh, I've maxed out. I, I don't believe it. I've actually maxed out my... Uh, actually maxed out my, my willpower points. 153 per season. I mean, that's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. What am I looking for? Another well. Yeah, we'll get another well. 6,500. I mean, is it literally just the advanced temple that I sort of need to... That I sort of need to nab? I mean... 
it's possible that we get it. It is possible, but maybe I was... Maybe I was speaking ill. 650 wood. I mean, it's a lot of wood. It's a lot, a lot of wood. Do I want to spend any of my points? Not particularly. 800 stone. My giddy ant, that's a lot of stone that we need to get. That is a heck of a lot of stone. Right, five more travelers. That leaves us with eight... Leaves with a lot of stuff. Eight workers available. Let's go to the inspiration menu. Anything else that we can get? Building repair? Uh, kitchen? Food production? I think I just need that. I literally just need that, right? Metal mine? No. I think I'm better placed using... Whoa! Okay, we're out of stone. Apparently... Apparently the stone has limits. Well then. I guess that kind of swiftly rectifies exactly what we're going to be doing with that... Uh, with that cash. I say cash, it's not cash. All right, 800 stone is kind of what we require. Uh, but that is it. Right, we're up to 51 followers. I feel like my priests should be doing a much better job. They're doing a pretty bad job, all in all. They're doing a really, really bad job, all in all. I mean, they really should be trying to convert more people. We've only got 81 people in the town, for goodness sake. And part of the issue seems to be is that migration just is not forthcoming. Like, we have everything here. We've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of gold. Uh, let's see if we can try and buy stone. There we go. Buy a bit more stone. Sell. I mean, nothing, really. Not bothered about anything at all. Yeah, it would also be good if we could see how much... Oh, look, there we go. Inspection mode. See how much stone is in all of these things. That's great. I mean, there's plenty of wood in all of these trees. I mean, like, an absolute abundance of wood in all of these trees. But about a thousand stone. About a thousand stone in each of the stones that I place. That's fine. 156. 156 per season. Fire's begun somewhere. Brilliant. That's okay. That should be fine enough. Fine enough for us to deal with. Uh, yeah. What do we need? We're gonna need, like... Oh, my God. We're gonna need, like, five more... No, sorry. Four more... Four more willpower wells. One. 800 stone. Uh, can we get... I, I tell you what, we can actually get another... Actually get another stone quarry. Sure. I mean, why not, right? I mean, it might be slightly suboptimal, but we've got plenty of workers anyway. Trade. We'll buy as much stone as we can. Again, slightly... Slightly... Uh, short demand... Got a stone in here? Why not? There we go. Okay. I mean, now we're all getting 3.2, 3.2, 2.8. I mean, that's... That's pretty good. You can't really argue with that. 69 followers. Nice. Love to see it. Yeah, it's looking real good. And we'll see if we can try and yoink in... Another one of these... God, really, really, eight hundred stone. I mean, this this seems like it. This seems like a bit of a waste of time, to be honest. Um, can we get another? Can we get another tech instead of the big, the big temple? It's also the thing that winds me up. I've got three small temples here. My priests seem to be doing absolutely diddly squat to actually make a difference. I tell you what, why don't we bring down a meteor on the village and see what see exactly what happens? That seems like a good. Uh, that seems like a good little finale bit. Yeah. I would, uh, I would say this is good. I really, really like the sort of foundation here, but this definitely needs, this definitely needs more work as a concept, for sure. Uh, needs more text, needs a better sort of progression system, I would, uh, I would suggest. But I do like, 
I do like the sort of uh, the sort of foundation. Right. Let's let's see. Let's see what this. Let's see what this does. Right. Well, um, that was orders of magnitude more explosive than I anticipated. Uh, that was incredible. Oh my god, that destroyed everything. Oh, geez, Louise. Well, you know what? We've done it. We've had a little look at it. Uh, I like it. I, I really do. I really do. I hope um, I hope that there's more stuff. I really, really hope that there's... Uh, I hope that there's a lot more updates. I hope that there's a lot more... I hope there's a lot more content added. I hope there's more research. I hope better thought is given to the sort of progression of things through the game. Um, very, very important. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obit Potato. This has been Creo God Simulator. Check out the uh, check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.